It's not new. I have spent over 16 years in MNC and then spent a commendable time in startup, then did mentoring to a lot of students or the folks just came into the software development career and now have my own startup. But this question really there since ages. Do I need a computer science degree to become a software developer? Or I don't need a computer science degree to become a software developer. Recently, there is a famous tweet from Elon Musk that says that, you know, if you're a hardcore software engineer and want to build everything at, please join blah, blah, blah. You don't have to have a school degree. You don't have to have a big company experience. You can just show the code and get started. This is great. This is a great motivation probably for many folks in a way. But what I've seen is a storm of debate on social media about whether you need a computer science degree or any sort of degree to start your software development career or you really don't need. Before we get to the answer, I want to break this particular tweet into few phrases. The things that I have underlined over here, it says hardcore software engineer. Then it says you went to school or even whether you are not or any company you have worked on or you have not, just show your code. What I read, only these phrases. And let's understand like what are these phrases mean may not be from Elon Musk perspective, but from the perspective that I can put over here. And if at all, it helps you. Who is a hardcore software engineer and who is a software engineer? There is another sub debate about software engineer versus software developer. Let's try to clarify those things. First, the debate about software developer versus software engineer. To me, a software developer is someone who can develop a software using a language, framework, syntax and deliver something to the end customer and the client. The expectation from the software developer is to upskill themselves over the period of time so that the quality of work is also increases. That's the definition I go by. Now, who is a software engineer? A software engineer to me is a person who is a software developer also think like an engineer. Who is an engineer? An engineer is someone who can solve a problem from the engineering thought. What is engineering thought? Engineering thought is like when a problem is given, the person thinks from the design, the person thinks from the architecture perspective, try to come up with the best solution and then having the ability to articulate that particular solution, not only to the end customer, but also to the own team so that there is a mutual buy-in for the entire solution to provide to the end customer. This is what an engineer does. In an organization, it is usually organic that you will transition from a software developer to a software engineer over the period of time throughout the experience that you gain. Even after studying computer science and engineering from a college, from the first day, any fresher may not be able to play off a software engineer because it requires some amount of practices, standard and experience. At the same time, being in the same organization over the period of a time, you might be playing the dual role of a software developer or a software engineer together. In some setup, maybe in a startup, it may be demanded that you start playing those roles quite early. So again, it depends on your upskilling, your learnability, how soon you want to get into the skin of knowing things that require you to be a software engineer. So who is a hardcore software engineer? A hardcore software engineer is like who is kind of very devoted into software engineering processes, software engineering delivery, quality, performance, can write code which he or she thinks goes by certain design patterns or can evolve to a new design pattern for solving the common problems, can give back to the developer community so the developer community can gain benefit out of it. The hardcore software engineer always upskill themselves, they stay relevant to the thing that is happening into the software market and they know how to make the decision and how to articulate their thoughts better. This is the definition of a hardcore software engineer. So when they want to solve a problem, apart from skills, they also need to know about how data works, how to structure the data, how to find out an efficient algorithm based on the use case that they are dealing with. Now with this definition and referring to the tweet from Mr. Musk, he is looking for a hardcore software engineer. Now, is it essential that this hardcore software engineer has to come from a computer science engineering background or not? My straight answer is no. 
to become a software engineer software developer or a hardcore software engineer you don't need an official computer science engineering degree you really don't need now before you start thinking i'm talking rubbish and then why do we have this computer engineering stream in the engineering colleges why so many people are writing exam to be a computer science engineer is it really useless if i'm saying that you don't need a degree to be a hardcore software engineer let me put some insights about it and i hope that none of this sounds like a marketing speech or a sales speech to you because i'm here not to sell anything rather to clarify certain things from my own experience if you have a degree a computer science and engineering degree it has its own benefit especially in the subcontinent i am dealing with lot of students maybe mentoring lot of students from india sri lanka bangladesh i can talk about the subcontinent colleges and the students much more confidently the colleges what they teach from the computer science and engineering even in 2025 is not up to the par of what is required in the actual field but still you may need the degree why because a lot of companies even today when they are looking for an entry level worker or a labor for their company they look for degrees and and this number is in majority so they look for a degree from you and not only that they also look for what kind of marks what kind of class that you are in whether you have got a first class you got a great cgpa score or the percentage etc is what is demanded from you if you want to work on those companies now if you're someone who is willing to start your career as a software developer you might find certain setback if you want to go through this process where the company that you want to apply for but the company is recruiting based on a very basic criteria which is a degree so definitely if you want that added advantage you have to have the degree now should you have the degree if you really don't have a reason of not having it it could be a financial reason it could be a family reason it could be anything else if you don't have a reason of not having it you must have it because it will be useful for you in two occasions one occasion is to having the added advantage of getting the first job getting into the software development field second after a certain point of time if you want to go for a higher study a higher study always based on a basic education or the basic educational background that you are in for example if you want to go for an mtech it requires btech if you want to go for a phd it requires certain things before that so if you don't have any background if you don't have any such degree maybe you work for 10 years in a software development company without any degree and now you want to aim for a higher education if that higher education demands you to have the very base education minimum basic education first to go for the higher education you have to start from there on that point in time so if you had it before you have an advantage of just starting the higher education from there itself these two are great thing the third point about having a degree is i told that there are most of the colleges are not really teaching what is required in the industry but in last couple of years what i have seen some colleges have started the industry connect so they call people from industry they go to the college talk about like what is required do some amount of mentorship to the professors that become helpful in turn that message goes to the student there might be workshop and etc so it in turns help you to know like what is happening in the industry and another thing is having a degree or putting yourself in a 3 years 2 years or 4 years degree somewhat makes you more structured more process oriented more disciplined about your own career so these are the advantages now let's say there are certain reason because of which you cannot pursue it you cannot go for a degree is your dream for a software development career or software engineering career gone not at all you need to do certain things to make it happen so let me talk about what a fresher a person who is just getting started who wants to just get started as a software developer what they can do the first thing that you should be doing is be present in social media by social media i am not telling that you have to be on facebook and instagram and post your photo rather be on linkedin be on x and build the right connection that might give you a job tomorrow how to find those connection as we are talking about software development and the software engineering of course we'll be talking about certain programming languages certain framework certain aspects of software development now you will find these people who are already talking about some of these aspects 
they are creating content, they are sharing content, they are talking about a progressive path of a software engineering tomorrow and also willing to do some amount of mentorship to you. Connect to these people. It's easy to find on LinkedIn and X. Go to the people who are very authentic, you think, and connect with them. While you consume what they are talking about, you also start preparing what you want to talk about to them. And that talk should happen through your work. If it is possible, do some project. Put those projects on the GitHub, write some good readme, socialize those projects like what you have done, create some good demos. There are a lot of tools available now to create demos. You just need a camera and a mic. A broken camera, broken mic is enough. Just put a good demonstration of those projects like how you solve certain problems, what kind of library framework you used, why you use certain things, how does it look, what's the end result. Socialize that video. Socialize those artifacts, those content, so that your connection can see like what you are capable of. Today, there are a lot of startups who are willing to hire people without any degree or any such educational stuff at your background. But if you are not available, if you are not present, how are they going to find you? So be there, be on social, talk about the things around software development, what you are learning, how you are upskilling. That is going to open the door for you. That is going to give you a lot of references tomorrow through which you can penetrate in the software development industry. And once you do that, nobody is going to ask you after that, what was your degree? Nobody even going to bother what kind of CGPA mark that you have got. Who knows, you might be earning a lot more or you might be doing much more cooler work than someone who have come up with those degrees. Apart from being available on social, you can also take part in many competitive platform, many competitive programming. You can do a lot of stuff around DSA. You can do a lot of stuff around problem solving. There are platforms like LeetCode, HackerRank already available for you to grasp and grab many things. Having degree, if you can have it, please get it. It has its advantage. But if you can't have it, you're still not far behind. You have to do some extra work to get into the line. Once you cross that, you are equal to others by your merit. You remember what Elon Musk told? He's a hardcore software engineer. So it means that you have to really know a lot about software engineering. Even if you're not coming from that background, you have to still know about the software development or the software engineering processes. That is where you need a mentor. So get a mentor who can talk about the career path that they have been to. And that knowledge is much, much bigger than any other engineering knowledge, believe me. If you get a great mentor and a great mentorship for six to eight months, who can actually tell you like what is required for you to be a successful software developer, what are the things that you need to know fundamentally, then how you need to go to the next step, how to articulate your ideas and thought process to someone, please embrace it. That is what is going to give you the real teaching. Now to summarize it, friends, if you can get a degree, get a degree. If you can't, be on social media, create your career path in terms of a map, in terms of a journey. Get a mentor who can actually help you from going from here to there or can tweak the path that you can take while doing that journey. Share about what you are learning daily basis, what you are learning, what kind of gaps you have. Talk to people in the social media. Connect to the right people. Try to get the references and the opportunity. Once you translate one of your opportunity to your job, get started with it. Stick to it, gain experience, upskill, understand software engineering processes. Then after a few years, I don't think that not having a degree is really going to hurt you so much. If you are willing to go for a higher education without having a proper degree, you might have to start again from very basics. But otherwise, you can actually go on with whatever you have, with whatever the experience that you are gaining. So that's my thought. I hope that you like it. I will leave you one more thought that I believe from the bottom of my heart in terms of education. A great aim of education is not knowledge, but action. So whatever education that you want to take, whether it is a regular computer science and engineering degree, or if you want to be a self-taught engineer with a lot of skills, please Take the action. Do the things that you need to get there than really thinking about like what that person is saying versus what this person is saying. There are plenty of examples in my circle who really made it 
without having a degree. They were drop out or they would not have completed their degree because they had their own reasons, but they're still rocking as a great software developer, software engineer. If you are like them, don't worry about it. Stick to it, you will make it. But if you have a chance to get your degree done, I would say definitely do it. It's still worth it. If you like this video, please post a like. And I would like to know from you, like if you have a degree, how much it helped you, please post a comment. If you don't have a degree, already doing a software development job or software engineering job, how you got this? If you can put your perspective in the comment, that will be really, really good. And that is going to benefit a lot of people. Please subscribe if possible because that gives a great amount of motivation to create content for you. See you guys very soon.